Hello, losing weight, keeping wine in here. 9th of November, Sunday. Uh, reviews. <coughs> um, since the last time, um, Peter Gabriel Passion. This was actually released before us, I think, but uh, it was slightly longer, so I did us before. And um, it's interesting if you compare to uh, his first soundtrack uh, attempt, or not the first actually, but the first full soundtrack attempt, uh, uh, Birdie, which is um, very interesting and, uh, and uh, good all, all around. Um, this one is um, more of a proper soundtrack. It's um, uh, a lot of stuff that's not so musically interesting by itself. Uh, but on the first side, uh, there is a couple of tracks that are uh, lifts above the rest and uh, at the end of the last side. The rest is kind of standard uh, soundtrack background sounds and stuff. Um, as far as I remember it. But uh, it definitely has its high points. Um, I have on CD Rabbit Proof Fence, uh, which has some very, very good stuff uh, um, at the end of, of that album. But um, also, uh, he has learned the trade of making proper soundtracks with uh, passion and uh, so on. So, um, interesting for that. Um, then the next album, uh, I don't remember if I got it gifted to me or anything. Uh, if I bought it, uh, I was so ashamed of it that uh, I removed my name tag from it uh, at some point. But it, it is originally part of my, I, th I think I tried to sell it and not even the record stores uh, wanted to buy it. Uh, the, the, the ones stores that uh, buy and sell used albums. Um, I, I thought, uh, well, I I steal uh, myself and uh, and and uh, muster through it because I have to have something that is worse than uh, Banana Rama's Pop Life. Unfortunately, a Banana Rama Pop Life is still worse than this one. <laughs> Leif Garrett. Feel the need. Uh, this is pure disco uh, with a little bit of beach uh, music, and uh, it's mostly covers, I think. Um, but um, for the time period, I don't know exactly which year, but uh, I'll, I'm guessing late 80s. Uh, Disco music. This is um, actually usable um, as a, kind of a reference. It's well produced for the time and uh, so on, and the sound is exactly like it was in the discos for that time. So, um, uh, not complete waste of time, but uh, not something I'm going to listen to. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, well, gasoline. Gerdenoga. Uh, uh, if you translate that, it should be something like um, Does it matter? Or something like that. Um, uh, this Gasoline is a Danish, De Danish uh, um, band and um, uh, fronted by Kim Larsen, if I remember correctly. This guy. And um, it's actually good pop rock from the, the late 70s era um, and early 80s. Um, good melodies and stuff uh, for that type of music. It's not, uh, I actually was surprised. I, I remember them uh, qu quite fondly for some tracks. It's about four tracks that lifts the album. Uh, the rest is kind of level, but they, um, it's easy to think that uh, all Scandinavians uh, understand each other uh, easily, but uh, most Swedes have a little trouble with uh, the Danish uh, version of the Nordic languages. And um, uh, 
I worked a bit there, so it's not that foreign to me. But uh, still, um, it's it's uh, quite a good record actually. Um, interesting for for if you want to go into that stuff. And uh, it, it's my brother's record, and uh, he also had this one, uh, which I think uh, is the next in line for the after and then dog. Uh, which after another day, uh, after one day more, may, or not, something like that. Um, this is not as good. Um, it's still, uh, they can uh, make a uh, uh, melody and stuff. And uh, I think uh, this one has more lyrics than, uh, than mel melody and pop. Um, so, um, uh, well, it's. Gerda Nugget is uh, a better record. Then we get to a little complex story here. Uh, I've got these, oh, these two are obviously the same rec record, uh, Rock Roots. And uh, Rock Roots is actually this album, but plus three or four songs extra. Uh, so I didn't rip this one actually. Um, I uh, I ripped this one, um, Rock Roots, uh, because I got all uh, the songs anyway, and uh, they are in order and everything, so uh, plus a few extra songs. Um, extremely long. Um, the exercise video, I started with this one, and uh, it's uh, over 27 minutes per side, so I was al already up to um, when the first rec uh, the, this record was ended, uh, I was already above what I usually run nowadays. Uh, and also I um, add a, a few rushes up to 10 kilometers per hour just to get used to a little bit higher speeds. And um, then I continued on the, the third uh, on second album uh a bit for a full hour so the, the exercise went on longer because this was so long um i also added uh, fallout with twists um anyway trespass was the next album i should tell you about something about the genesis album um uh, the rock roots album actually um this is pop rock. Um, it's not prog. Um, you can. The interesting thing is, it's not bad for its time, and um, it's Peter Gabriel's early voice uh, and singing, uh, which uh, makes it uh, interesting um, as a background check or, or something. Because if you know this album, um, then you understand songs like Visions of Angel from Trespass. Um, this is this clearly is a step on the prog rock uh, ladder, but uh, some songs is still uh, like Visions of Angels are more connected to the, the early uh, stuff, at least for what I, I don't know in which order they uh, uh, recorded or com composed them, but um, uh, to me, looking for someone and uh, dusk and the knife is um, is more of the the natural progression of the, the prog rock uh, that took over for the next album. Um, and um, the knife is of course a classic, and looking for someone is also a classic uh, to me at least. Um, and um, it's an all, all uh, together classic album. Um, at the time, uh, their type of music was called uh, classic rock, uh, and classical rock, maybe. Uh, so the progressive stamp is a much later thing, but um, it's uh the beginning of genesis and um that was uh, the records i uh i ripped today so um that is the reviews for this week the end of this week and um we we'll see you in a couple of days wednesday thursday uh thursday is 
the restart of the SHL Hockey League uh, games. We uh, had a break for the Cariola Cup tournament, international tournament. The kind of stuff that NHL would never do. Um, so um, we'll see. Uh, if I make the video on Thursday, it might not be released until uh, Friday, but um, I'll at least I record it then. Um, well, this for this time, and uh, see you next time. Bye.